So we've got the mini split going in the motorhome. We have it set at 61 degrees. It was like 100 degrees in here um, earlier, about two hours ago. We started that up. And we're right around 78 degrees in here. So that's nice and comfy. The closer you get to the bed down there, it's freezing down at that bed. <laughs> but it's nice and comfortable at 78 degrees right here. And motorhomes are notoriously horribly insulated. So, but I'd much rather take that light fan noise over there than the extremely loud um, uh, air conditioner, rooftop air conditioner up there. Much more enjoyable having that mini split running. You can actually hear yourself think. I mean, it's just... It's like a fan running in the background. It's not really that loud. Um, as where this is probably around 70-some decibels, that's probably around 30-some, to maybe in the low 40s. So, pretty uh, pretty nice. Um, sleeping on the bed there, we have a curtain over there that we can pull over. There's a track up there on the ceiling. And when we go camping at nighttime, if we don't want to use a lot of battery overnight, we just pull that curtain over. And we won't use that much. Um, I could, I got that um, 280 amp hour 12 volt battery that I could probably run that thing overnight on that. Um, pulling that curtain over and then just putting on like evaporative mode. That evaporative mode uses um, not much at all. I believe this. Now, this might only have an economy mode. I'm not sure if it has an evaporative mode. I know my EG4 does, but on the economy mode, I checked it out, and I was able to get down around 250 to 300 watts an hour, and that's still not too, too bad. So, And it was actually getting, when I pulled the curtain, it would get so cold in there that the inverter would actually shut off. So <laughs> it was using basically about 30 watts to run the uh, fan on that mini split. So that wasn't bad at all. But it's 107 out right now. And uh, it's about th uh, close to four, uh, three o'clock. It's close to about three o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, it's nice and comfortable in here. And I really like how quiet these things are. Compared to the rooftop ACs, those are extremely loud. So, anyways, just doing do an update on that. I'm actually running that um, on the shore power going into my garage, into my off-grid solar system. So, I'm actually using the solar panel uh, input through the inverters and that um, rather than anything else right now. So, but I, I have this so that when we go um camping we can use this when we have full hookups but i can run it up in evaporative mode when we go up to the mountains and stuff like that right now it's using about 1144 watts it was getting close to 1300 watts when i first turned it on because it was about 104 105 degrees outside so but um changing that over to the economy mode when you're up in the mountains and it's like in the 80s overnight and you really don't need to push it real hard, you can put it on the economy mode. And uh, if you're using a battery, you can get through the night on that. But, I mean, I've got either a 48-volt um, pure sine wave inverter or a 12-volt pure sine wave inverter. So I can take either 12-volt or 48 or 5120-volt server rack batteries with me and run it off grid with those and then i have some solar panels i can take with me along with a charge controller that i can charge the battery during the day um you know i can always run the uh propane generator and charge the battery back up as well i have a charger for that that's 110 volt so anyways just want to give you an update on the motorhome get ready to go camping next month and uh looking forward to it Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and see you in the next video. Links in the description, 
And I'll leave, um, like I said, I'll leave the links there. There's an easy four. If you buy stuff from Signature Solar, I have a $50 off coupon code for any purchase of $500 or more. Have a blessed day.